afternoon, you all. You braved the snow. You made it here. Uh, I've been told that we have around 100 participants or so, nearly 100 participants joining us online, which is really exciting as well. Um, I'm so glad to see people in person. Uh, glad that we have both of these options available to you. Um, we have students from all over the state of Vermont register for the event today, and um, I'm, I'm really so pleased to see you spending this time together with family members, uh, siblings, friends, um, because you're really dedicated to how vital planning your next steps are. I hope that um, you find a lot of the information that you need today. Um, the parents and guardians who are here to help and support you in this process. We're really grateful to you for being here with your students and future students. And thank you to the University of Vermont for hosting us today. Um, to say a few words on behalf of the university, I'm pleased to introduce Sarah Hobart, Senior Associate Director of Admissions. Uh, Sarah, better known as Sally, has been at UVM for over 30 years and is a two-time graduate of the institution. Um, most recently, she completed UVM's Integrated Health and Wellness Coaching Program and is a National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach and enjoys coaching UVM students, which some of you may be someday. Uh, and in her time at UVM, Sally has worked in nearly every part of admissions, but she's most proud of her work with the Campus Visit Program, Tour Guides, and Active Alumni Network. And Sally's daughter is a fourth-generation UVMer studying in the Graduate College of Education. Sally, thanks so much for hosting us today. Well, good afternoon. Thank you, Shearston. Um, call me Sally. Would love to, to talk to you more about UVM. First, thank you for coming. You're the intrepids, right? You, you're Vermonters, so a little bit of snow never, never scares you off. I get to oversee visits and events and would just really encourage you to come and visit campus. We love our Vermonters. There aren't that many of us, right? So we uh, intentionally offered our session today um, in combination with our campus tours this morning. So a couple of you I saw this morning, we really encourage Vermonters to come and visit to get on the walking tour to see the campus because it really is exciting. So much has changed over time. Do we have any UVM grads in the audience? All right, look at that. So a very different place in terms of facilities, um, you know, the Ifshin Hall next to the Kalkin building, $104 million put into our new STEM complex, a school of the arts, Cohen Hall for the arts, so many exciting things. The Jeffords building, I mean, this whole campus here really on the central campus was very different. You know, when I was a student here, maybe when you were as well. So there's a lot happening. So we really encourage our Vermont families to visit, talk to current students, talk to our faculty. Uh, it's an exciting place. It was exciting to see UVM on the, the national you know, March Madness last night, a very sad defeat uh, as we played Duke, but boy, they, they worked hard, they played hard, and our Lady Cats uh, are gonna be hosting the NIT uh, basketball game on Monday at Patrick Gym. So we've got a lot of excitement here. Uh, we're really glad that you're spending some time learning about the college process, learning about the options. We, we partner a lot with VSAC, um, it's really just important. Um, affordability is a really important um, message that our president uh, would want to deliver as well. And I oversee the Vermont Admissions Committee and uh, spent a lot of time looking at transcripts. I really got to know the, the schools throughout the state. And I just really want you to hear the message that this is your flagship state university. We want Vermonters to apply and feel like we're accessible and we'll help you you know, kind of create a pathway to come to UVM. And there's great sessions today. There's great schools in our state. So check them out. And again, I'll be out in the lobby at the University of Vermont table. We have a couple workshops this afternoon. So enjoy the conference. Enjoy your time in the snow as you travel back to your homes and have a great afternoon. Thank you, Sally. Um, 
we really appreciate your partnership in hosting our in-person attendees and um, the support of your tech team in managing all the behind scenes logistics for um, folks who are joining us virtually. And later, if you all decide to go back and watch some of the videos um, that the tech team helps us produce, it really feels like you're here in the room again and they're really high quality. I've been so impressed by that. Um, Vermont Student Assistance Corporation has been hosting these College and Career Pathways events for a long time, and um, you know we've uh, you've seen us through, and we've seen you through uh, the COVID pandemic. Uh, we've got some plans coming up around the um, you know that have been altered by the eclipse, and so today's snowstorm was um, nothing that uh, would stop us having the online or having you here in person. So. Um, we're really happy to, to offer both of those pieces. I um, now have the distinct pleasure of introducing Representative Jill Krowinski, who is our Speaker of the House of Representatives. Uh, Speaker Krowinski has served in the House since 2012 and has a range of experiences working with nonprofits and serving on community boards. Um, and I know that Vermont students and families are the center of her work and her life and thinking about the future of students and families in Vermont um, is really her passion. And so um, we're so grateful to you for being here today with your busy schedule and with the snow. Uh, so please join me in welcoming Representative Jill Krowinski. Thank you so much for that warm welcome. It's nice to be here with all of you. Way to go for braving this weather. Sorry about the cats. I had them leading the way in my bracket all the way to the end. Uh, <laughs> uh, so welcome. And like I said, it's great to be here with all of you as you explore various paths beyond high school and learn about the resources and support that VSAC can provide you. I want to thank VSAC, all the staff members, for all their great work and for all the, the work that they do for students and families to get this vital information out across the state for future generations of students. As a legislator and a speaker of the House, I'm always working towards, uh, I'm always on a mission to make sure that we're creating a Vermont that works for everyone and that leaves no one behind. Year after year, we see students across our state take on new exciting positions after high school. And it's no longer the case that your options will be set will set you on a course for the rest of your life. Now more than ever, you have possibilities that are limitless. And with that said, I know that infinite choices may also seem intimidating and overwhelming. I can promise you that you are in good hands with VSAC, an organization that has been assisting students for almost 60 years. Today is a great opportunity to ask questions, understand the options before you, and utilize their knowledge and expertise in considering your next steps. Whether you have a clear post-graduation plan or a blank canvas, know that there's not one correct path for you. Whatever you choose, trust that it will change a few times, it did for me, before you get to where you're going and find what feels right. I advise you to follow your passions, your gut, and especially your heart. With each graduating class, I am amazed by your resilience and your thoughtfulness to make a better tomorrow. You are Vermont's most vital asset, driving progress and innovation. I hear your voices already speaking up on issues like reproductive rights, climate change, and the state of our democracy. Now is the time to celebrate your hard work, learn as much as possible, and discover more about yourself and your values. I urge you in, to embrace curiosity and question the world around you. Today, again, is an excellent opportunity to learn about the possible, and I hope you take full advantage of the people and resources here today. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't advocate for you to look for opportunities to stay in our great state. It's important to explore, but know that me and my fellow legislators are working tirelessly to make Vermont a better place for you and for future generations to lay roots. I know we will be lucky to have each and every one of you in whatever you do. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and I have no doubt that each of you will accomplish remarkable things. So good luck on your journey. Know that you always have an open door at the State House, whether you want to intern or shadow. Um, happy to create those opportunities for you as well. So have a wonderful day, and uh, take care. And be well. Thank you.
Thank you, Representative Krawinski. Thank you so much for being here and inspiring us as we set out on our day. Before I set you out on your day, I want to introduce you to our one of our most amazing team members in our outreach team at VSAC, the assistant director of our Gear Up program, Sarah Vargo, who's going to give you some of the logistics and plans for the rest of the day. Thank you. Welcome. I don't think I have to go over the snowstorm, but we're safe in here. So we're going to be sending you off to your workshop soon. If you can't remember what session you're in, for those of you in the room, it's on your name tag. But you also can kind of swap if you would like as well. All of the workshops today will be recorded and posted to our event website. Also, we really want to know how you feel about today, what your impressions were, so don't forget to fill out your evaluations. Your feedback really helps us continue to improve. Um, so thank you in advance for completing those. Also, when you complete them, you will be entered for a gift certificate um, of $100 to VSAC's 529 plan. So a little incentive also to get those in. A few of our workshops due to the snow will be virtual today. So strategies for the SAT and ACT still happening at the same time, but the presenter will be virtual, joining us virtually. Um, I wish I knew that programs to pursue for graduation and navigating the college search for students who learn differently. Those, um, again, the presenter will be joining us uh, virtually. Um, Beagle is going to post uh, the links to join um, all of the sessions right now. Um, and you can click, those of you who are joining virtually, you can just click on those links and you'll be redirected to the room. Um, if you run into any technical difficulties, um, you, uh, there's a technical difficulties number that you can also call. Um, in-person attendees, if you are signed up or interested in staying in this room, um, we'll be starting a college search, finding the right fit um, around 225. So we have a little bit of time for a break um, before workshops start. Um, everyone else who doesn't want to stay here, you will proceed to your workshop rooms now. Thanks so much for coming and enjoy your time. I hope you learn a lot. <laughs>